Today, this video is brought to you by Gossy Pond, premium cotton socks for men and women. Use the promo code BEAM for 15% off your first purchase. Yo, YouTube, what's going on today? It's your boy Beam, and as you guys can see, we are dealing with something that's different, man. It's been eight months since this man had a haircut, and it's time for us to figure out what we gonna do today. He giving me freedom, free range to do whatever haircut I want. I enjoy clients that come in the shop and give me free range and freedom to do whatever I want throughout the haircut, so I feel like I got something super nice for him. This client actually did like 2.9 million on my channel before, so let's hop in that bag. So to kick this haircut off, I want to go in by picking the client hair. As I stated earlier, it's been eight months since this man had a haircut. Fortunately, as barbers, it's up to us to change this outcome. This is where we get creative and hop in that surgical bag. I want to change this man life. I want to show y'all the definition of why 2021 is considered year to transformations. So just focus in with me, lock in. We're picking this hair. We're getting it off his head. Just so I can go in, I can dissect. Watch how we finna break this down. It's going to be beautiful today. You guys can see I'm cutting the hair with a number four guard. I want to ensure that I can get his hair down to one desired length, but I also want to possess a nice darkness of his hair. It's super curly, it's super soft. So I want to ensure me running a big guard through this that I'm using more of a protective style or protective method to ensure that I can keep the darkness throughout his haircut. So as you guys can see, this number four guard is getting it down to one desired length, but I know this is not the final length that I want it to be down to. My next step is to go in with a number two guard. I wanna ensure with this number two guard that I'm getting the hair down to that one desired length. After seeing it with that number four guard, I seen the darkness I could possess, but look at the hair itself, like I'm literally cutting silk. So I wanted y'all to understand that me trimming this hair down to a number two is gonna be my final desired length and going against the grain in the front of the lineup to lift that area. My next step is to go in with my Babeless FX's and I basically wanna create a rainbow shape towards the bottom of the temple area. We gonna burst this Paper all the way out, but we also gonna give him Chicago C's. We're gonna give him something super fire. My next step is to go in with a number two guard completely open, and I basically want to blow majority of this panel out because I cut him with a number two guard closed. I know I can open up a number two against the grain. My next step fully open with my Babeless FX is about a half of an inch. My next step is a one eighth guard completely open, and I'm gonna go up another half inch. The objective is to get the hair to conform with me as I'm creating transition in this side panel. Next step, 1 16th, halfway, and I want to fade in between this area right here just to ensure I can feather this area out and create some form of a transition throughout this taper. Big shout out to Jerm Boomin. He got the beat jumping. Y'all know this, this LL, this paradise. So I'm feeling it. I'm rocking in my chair. I, my vibe is there. This is fire. Shout out to Jerm Boomin. Y'all know how that boy give it up. When Jerm in his bag, it's different. It's different. Shout out to Jerm. My next step is to go completely closed using my Babeless FX's. And I'm basically blowing this panel out just to ensure that this transition comes together getting behind the ear because that ear still possess some level of darkness and using the corner 2T for my blade to fade in between. Now I want to drop low and I want to open up my 1 16th guard about a whole inch and I want to get into the beard and I take my 1 16th off completely open and slowly but surely start to close my lever to create transition from the top of the beard to the bottom of the taper and get that nice you know dark faded dark look. Super clean. Just bringing it together. This is gonna be so fire, y'all. I promise y'all. Clean. 
Next step is to create the same steps. I wanna go up about two inches in the back of the neck. As you guys can see, my client hair grows all the way down his neck area. So I wanna ensure that I open this panel all the way up and remove all of this hair. That's one of the most important things you could do throughout most of your tapers is you want to clear areas for you to be able to go in and attack other areas. And now with a number two guard on my Babyliss is completely open, I want to open this area up just so I can debulk and feather this area before I break into my transition. Next step is completely open about a whole inch. And the reason that I'm doing my guidelines bigger in the back is because his hair actually grow further down the back of his neck. So with that being said, I can really open my taper all the way up and create a dope tree transition my next step is to go in with a 1 8 guard completely open under the bottom of that two and i just want to basically feather it even more Step 1 16th guard completely closed, and I want to feather right under that 1 8th guard. I'm keeping my numbers systematically just so I can automatically fall into certain numbers. So I started with a 2, I faded in that 2 with a 1, then I started with that 1, and then I faded into that 1 with a 1 16th guard, which is going to ultimately fade into my first bottom line at the bottom, which was open with my Babyliss. As you guys can see, if you keep your transitions and keep your tapers or fades, whatever you're doing in a systematic order, I promise you it's important possible not to create a transition because you followed the number scale now it's different if you go from a zero to a two and didn't do anything in between that how do you create transition from a zero to a two but because i did two one one sixteenth zero it's all going to transition within itself now completely halfway closed and i just want to ensure that i'm fading in between and keeping everything consistent bringing it all the way together we got a lot of gems we got a lot of jewels in this video this video is flavor like this is literally my backyard i'm having fun and that's just what i do in barbering i don't take barbering serious like every other barber in the planet i'm not sure if every barber do take it serious but it's some barbers who don't even know how to have fun doing what they do and realistically i use this side to break into this topic my topic today is enjoy doing what you doing don't let nobody get you out your element don't let let nobody come in between you and your love when i'm behind my chair when i got my camera on it's me in the game it's nobody else it's me my client in the game i'm superly focused on bringing y'all some of the greatest content i plan on giving y'all some of the best education and i promise in production wise my producers handle they own i got the best producers in this whole barber world thing i'm not here to be cocky or anything but it's a vibe when you hear i create a complete essence on my channel and that's what it's about about. I want y'all to get beam aura. I'm super laid back. I'm super uppity, but super motivational at the same time. And this beats and this music like this that create that individual that I will be. When you having fun doing what you're doing and it come off organic, it's a beautiful thing. The situation is completely different with beam because I'm a different individual. I was born and raised on different music than a lot of people. My music is literally showing you my character. I got flavor. I got sauce. It's different. So I hop back in my video i want to go back in here using some lot of body wrapping lotion i want to use this to basically help me lay this curly hair down this is one of the most important things you can do throughout a haircut for somebody who just recently got their hair cut for the first time you want to help them lay this hair down and bring everything forward pop in with some lot of body wrapping lotion bring everything forward assisting it with a blow dryer and i promise you this hair will lay down so just ensure that you make sure that you get yourself all the way through this hair. Look at the hair. Look how the hair is training as if it laid down. If I would have assisted it with a do-rag, it would have helped it even more. But in this case, because my client has amazing hair, I didn't even have to use a do-rag. We was just focused on bringing all the hair forward. Now hopping into one of the most important things you could do for anybody who gets a haircut or gets an all-even. You want to ensure that you use the clippers or trimmers or whatever you use. And you want to trim over the hair and knock all of the loose hairs off, all of the scraggly legs all of the roach legs and we basically setting ourselves up for that kill shot this is what we doing we setting ourselves up for greatness i got the foundation of this haircut in 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 order right now now it's time to literally up it and take it to another level and y'all know me when i hop in my duffel is different so i'm going in here using an application 
brush consistently with color and I basically want to work my way through the beard and create a nice clean effect on the beard so like a lot of people don't understand I watch a lot of people go behind clients and, and any haircut they like to line the face up with the trimmers and they like to go behind that and hit it with color and then go behind that and then do a razor I'm showing y'all basically how to line a beard up without physically lining a beard up so I go in using my color to create my line as you guys can see it almost looked lined and I never even lined it so now I know exactly how high to stay or how low to go when it comes to lining this client's beard up and as you guys can see I'm creating a nice clean line and I'm gonna go behind that with my straight razor and I'm gonna bring it all the way together but this is the objective this is what I do I eliminate techniques behind a chair to help me do this thing in 35 40 minutes at most all of my services are luxury services all of my services are under 40 minutes and I'm able to cap off and do everything that I want to do in under a 40 minute span and charge a premium price I love what I do behind a chair I have creative realm to come in when I want to. I have creative realm to do whatever I want to do with most of my clients. And then a lot of my clients trust me to do anything and handle any scenario predicament throughout the haircut. That's the difference between me and a lot of barbers. When you get to that point to where your clients are just letting you do whatever you want because they trust you, they trust your hands, they trust the education you have, they trust it all. It's impossible to fail behind this chair. That's what it's about. Creating comfortability with our clients and being able to establish dominance and haircuts my next step is to go in with my babeless fx's i started to do my straightaways and i convert to the corner of my blade to work myself around the ear creating a nice neckline on this client now hitting the back of the beard line just to ensure that I can create some symmetry. Y'all know that's my favorite thing. That's my frame I work behind the neck and then behind the beard. And as you guys can see, that's clean. And now to repeat the same steps, doing my straightaway verticals, working myself all the way around the ear. And as you guys can tell, look how his hair laid down. That's because of that wrapping lotion. It's looking really good. And repeating some of the same steps, hitting the back of the beard here as well. And creating that cleanliness. Now it's time to break my way into the middle, work myself all the way to the left. As you guys can see I got a pretty fair hairline here my client got a strong hairline and as you guys can see I'm starting the middle work myself all the way to the left and then boom I'm gonna break into my vertical bar here dropping my clippers straight down and ensuring that I got that 90 degree angle and now hitting the bottom of the Chicago Sea not forcing it but making it happen and now we're setting myself at the middle working myself all the way back to the right super clean doing my vertical bar here and now doing the bottom of the Chicago scene. Super clean. Then I'm gonna brush the hair forward towards me, re-hit the hair, super crispy. Next step, going in with my boy Sean Cuts Hair Color Enhancement Card version 2.0. As you guys can see, he got the ruler on the bottom of the cards as well for you to ensure that your lineups are equal. Visit SeanCutsHair.com to get your color enhancement card. Fire, assisting it with my coilless compressor and my color no drip, which are completely waterproof. Best do on do combo in the game right now. I created this color to kill a stigma of people color go away when they hop in the shower water cannot move this product any water base cannot remove this product it has to be an alcohol base to remove this product any astringents or alcohol will move it but if it's not and it's water it won't move this product at all my next step is to go in using a barber magic pencil and I basically want to outline the client's hairline and I want to create some type of contrast. Anybody know who know me, this is for my Kodak moments. I am doing this specifically to create contrast and conceal the lineup the same way women conceal their eyebrows. It's super important that most women will clean their eyebrows up. They'll add any filling in their eyebrows and they'll go behind it and hit the eyebrows with some concealer to make it crispier or to make it more more of a pop and give it a concealed look to where it pops out and as you guys can see I'm using my clippers here to hit those lines to basically disperse that color across the skin and create a beautiful contrast from my client's skin from his hairline as you guys can see this is looking really 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 good this is looking really good shout out to my client man shout out to my producer shout out to me it's fire it's coming out beautiful I really enjoyed this video this is really clean right here super clean 
My next step is to go in hitting the bottom of the mustache. Just hitting the bottom of the mustache is just to ensure I can create a symmetrical mustache for this client. I hit the bottom, hit the top, now hitting the corners, and I'm doing the same thing. The bottom here, the top, and then I'll hit the corners, and then we'll move to the next step in the haircut, which is adding color towards the bottom of the chin area. He wanted this to look more fuller, so what we are doing is adding color, creating a straightaway. We won't turn in no other shape, but we add color here just to give it more pop, give it more of a fullness, more of a nicer look. And as you guys can see, it's going to be more of a complete haircut through and through. My next step is to lean my client back, angle my razor at a 45 degree angle, bring everything back to its highest point. As you guys seen earlier, when I created the beard line with the color, I wanted to ensure that I was keeping his beard as wide as possible and as high as possible. But me creating that line with the color is keeping me in a place and keeping me in a realm to not push the beard lower. And it's also giving me a nice clean look at the end of it. So as you guys can see right here, everything is coming together beautifully. I'm just ensuring, making my client blow out his face, just so I can ensure that I get this line real nice, real clean, real tight in this pocket. Everybody got different techniques for themselves, but I promise you, my technique and my advanced systems is what helped me get through my haircuts in 35 to 40 minutes at most. You'll never see me spending an hour on a haircut. I'm eliminating way too many techniques for me to get all the way through. My next step is to go behind that using my shaver. And using my shaver, I just basically balled out this area and create a nicer transition. Stretching the skin, angling that razor, bringing it right back to the line. And now hitting the bottom of this with the grain, now going against the grain and ensuring that I create a backstroke. And as you guys can see, super clean, super clean. This is fire. Shout out to my client, man. I appreciate you for letting me do this video. This is super clean. Now repeating the same steps on this side. Ensuring that I'm bringing everything back to its highest point, but ensuring that I'm staying in my pocket, creating a nice line. Always hit the beer area, hit any area you gonna hit, go behind it with your whisk, dust it off, and then redo it. Cause y'all know like I know, you can't do things one time, you gotta lap it multiple times. You know, practice make perfect. The more times you do something, the cleanier it's gonna be. And as you guys can see, look at this. This is ridiculous, bro. This is ridiculous. Now we gonna go ahead and do something that I feel like was needed because this client has a lot of hair like on his face. It only makes sense to go behind that and clean up the eyebrows as well. We're not gonna arch the eyebrows, but we gonna clean them up. And as you guys see, I hit the top of the eyebrows. I'ma turn them some, and then I'm finna get towards the bottom of the eyebrows as well. Once I clean up the face area, get towards the bottom of the eyebrows and clean this pocket up as well. It only makes sense when a client has this much hair on his face. It only makes sense for you to clean up the client this much. This this is a presidential service this is when people get you know the cleanliness look that they gonna get and in my chair and in my channel y'all know how i give it up cleanliness is next to godliness it gets no better than that i'm here for this I'm, this is my job i'm here to take my clients and install a different level of confidence throughout every haircut amazing backstroke staying real confident and then basically not applying a lot of pressure because the eyelid is super soft. You can slice that super easy. Next step is to get in the inside of it. Clear the unibrow area. My client clean, bro. Clean. Now hitting the bottom of the chin area just to ensure that I'm opening this area up. doing cleanup work rehitting them roach legs making sure that the hair laying down look at that table look at the lineup i'm man what this is crazy different bro
different lane Y'all know Beam, that boy different I just pride myself on finishing stronger than everybody I literally done turned this man from homeless guy to IG male model That's so crazy to me It is unfortunate in a world like this that we got clients that come here 8 months without getting a haircut As you guys can tell, my client hair is amazing His hair texture is amazing He's taking care of his hair It's super healthy, but it was time for something different In the world of 2021 with me, it is a year of transformation Since Barbers, it's up to us to change that outcome I hope you were able to make it through this video completely and you were able to pick up gems and techniques for your guys next haircut without further ado only give it up one way on my channel let's lock in hashtag tbt hashtag glacier gang hashtag glass y'all know how i give it up on my channel it's 2021 it's year the transformations as you guys can see line up so straight it could bend the ruler if you was able to make it through this video please like share subscribe comment hit that notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out i wholeheartedly appreciate you and may god bless what you started the yeah, yeah, yeah. You go on, you go on, you go on to the, to the, to the pain. Look, touch it, 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 touch When's the last time you had a haircut? Yeah. I've been doing my hair so like the end of December. Since the end of December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. It's been eight months since this man had a haircut, man. Let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section. I think that one's gonna be a banger. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, comment button, notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out. This was a banger. Let me know what y'all think about this joint in the comment section.